Hey there, this is Jonathan with the Generate Press team, and today I'm excited to share with you some of the new features available now in Generate Blocks Pro version 1.7. This release brings an overhaul of the global style system in Generate Blocks, which makes it far more powerful, more flexible, and lays the foundation for some more amazing features to come. So here in my WordPress install, I have Generate Blocks version 1.9 installed from the WordPress repository, as well as Generate Blocks Pro version 1.7. I'm going to go ahead and edit my homepage and select this H1 headline in our hero section. On the right side, the block tab is now selected and we can see right away there's a number of new enhancements. First of all, this headline has a global style attached to it, sometimes referred to as a class in CSS. And in this case, the class is gbp section underscore underscore headline. This now gives us the ability to apply this class to any headline across our site. And when we make the changes to this class, it applies those changes everywhere the class exists. I'll go ahead and duplicate my H1 to demonstrate this effect. Now, of course, in reality, I don't really want more than a single H1 per page, but this is just for example's sake. So let's click on that class name so we know we're making changes to the global style itself and not the individual element. Let's say we wanted to change the text color to blue instead of black. I can expand the typography section and then we select the color picker and change it to blue. As you can see, both headlines have been affected by this change because they both have that class and we made the color change to the class. But we're just barely scratching the surface of this feature. In the past, you had to pick just one of your global styles, but now we can apply as many styles as we want to an individual element. Let's click this back arrow to return to the block controls, then click the blue little plus icon next to our existing class. We can see this new add or create styles panel appears, so for example, let's say we want to have a global style that applies a text transform of uppercase to some headlines. We wouldn't want to necessarily apply that to our existing class because maybe there's cases where some headlines should be regular capital case and not uppercase. So let's go ahead and type in the word uppercase, which will operate as our new global style, and then we'll click the create button. We'll go ahead and choose the blank style option and start editing then expand the typography option and select the text transform dropdown. I'll choose uppercase and then immediately you can see my change is visible. Of course, this has only affected one of our two headlines. If we select the second headline, then we again click the blue add styles button. We'll type in uppercase and this time you can see generate blocks detects that that global style already exists and it prompts us to add it to our block instead of creating a new one. As soon as we add it, the uppercase transform is applied to both headlines now because they both have that uppercase class. This now means that we can apply as many global styles as we want. Sometimes you might only need one or two. Other times you might have five or more classes on an element. There's so much more flexibility with this system than ever before in Generate Blocks. As you can see, this allows us to significantly reduce the effort required should you wanna make a change to an element. Now just pick an element that has the global style you want to tweak, make your changes, and those changes are then reflected everywhere else that global style has been applied. There's plenty more for us to cover on global styles in future videos, so let us know what you think so far and what you'd like to see next in the comments below. Another feature we're excited to bring you in Generate Blocks Pro 1.7 is a totally redesigned pattern library. Before we dig in, let's make sure we don't have an existing section selected so our new patterns are added in the right place. I'm going to select this parent container, click the three dots, and then choose add after. This will place a paragraph block that just acts as a temporary placeholder, and now our new patterns will replace this paragraph block once we insert them. To access the pattern library, let's click the generate blocks logo next to our update button, and then select pattern library. This brings up a window where we have tons of fantastic wireframes to start building out our site with. In fact, the hero element we were just editing is from our pattern library, and you can see that if I select hero from the left-hand column, and the one we were using is hero seven. Also note that the headlines in these hero elements appear to be blue because we changed the text color of that headline global style to blue, and some of the elements inside these different patterns have shared global styles. What that means is that if we start customizing the default classes that come with the pattern library elements, those changes are applied to all the new elements we bring in from the pattern library. Let's go ahead and use the bulk insert feature to build out some of our homepage content. 
We already have a hero section, so let's choose features from the dropdown and we'll select pattern number 68. Then select gallery and let's pick for example gallery three. Then we can add in a CTA and let's just say CTA number two. Notice how in the left hand side the patterns are adding to this list and we can also reorder them so that they're placed in our page in the correct order. That'll do for now, so let's click insert all and now all those patterns that we selected are on our page. As you can see for this features section, the headline color is blue because it also shares that same headline global style. So you can see how quick and easy it is to get started with some great sections. We'll be expanding what's possible with the pattern library in future releases as well. The final thing I want to show you today is the admin interface to manage your global styles. Let's return to WP admin. We'll hover over generate blocks and click global styles. Here we can see all the global styles that we've created or have been imported from the pattern library. We can drag and drop to reorder them in case we're having some issues with CSS specificity. All you have to do is reorder as you need, then click the save order button. And in this screen, we can also hover over a style to rename it as well. As you can see, these new features mean we have greater control over our entire website's look and feel than ever before. We're excited to show you more of what this amazing system can do in future videos. Thank you so much for watching.